So, today we're going to be looking at something quite interesting. We're actually looking at a program for FreeBSD. Now, over on Linux, we have a program called Lutris. And essentially what that does is it will let you launch sort of all kinds of games and have it be configured for you so you can pretty much just install it and get to playing. And today we're going to be looking at a program which kind of does the same thing for FreeBSD. Uh, this program is Homura. And essentially it's inspired by Lutris and it will give you a game launcher to play Windows games on FreeBSD. And we're going to be taking a look at it right now on the Linux Lounge. Indeed today we're going to be taking a look at uh, Homura, which I believe is the sort of anime girl that they've completely branded their project with. Now, first things first, as I said, this is inspired by Lutris, but it's not Lutris, and it's kind of not really uh, similar to, well as they've said there, it's not akin to crossover or Lutris or similar to Wine. Um, but what this is, is it kind of a game launcher that, which uses Wine to launch Windows games on FreeBSD. And it's quite an impressive little project. And the first thing of note is it's still very much updated. In fact, there was an update two days ago. And uh, their GitHub page is uh, quite informative as well. So we can see here, we've got the little uh, titles up here from various things you can look at, but we'll take a look at that in a minute. We've got the introduction, the description, the run dependencies, the installation and uninstallation, all handy information to have. And there's the usage. Now, this does have a GUI, but if you want, you could probably use this, uh, well, almost entirely through the command line. And in fact, as a bit of a heads up, on your first launch of the program, you do need to run it from the uh, command line. They also have a features and to-do list, which as you can see, it's a very complete little program already. Um, but at some point, they'll want to have DXVK changing between Wine versions and other features like uh, Lucius has. So at some point this is going to be even more of a complete BSD gaming solution than it already is, but uh, more on that later. They also have a Discord server and a Steam page which you can go to, which is quite handy. And um, as you can see they've got some screenshots of the program, one of them shows Counter-Strike running, and uh, Clone Hero. Now what's quite interesting about this program is they've actually kind of got a small list of um, programs that will work. They have like a list of tweaks to get things working. Uh, they have statuses, which of course uh, relates to what they have working and what doesn't work, but more on that later. They've got a list of games that are balked. And uh, they've got a list of working games. And I've tried a few of those, and yeah, they work. Uh, but of course that doesn't mean that games outside of that list won't work. They've got a handbook which tells you how to use the program, which is fairly self-explanatory, but it's always good to have documentation. And they have hint, and they have a page on contributing. Also, let's quickly go back to that hint page. It's actually quite handy to just for people who are used to FreeBSD generally. Um, but yeah, I guess this would be quite useful to someone who is new to FreeBSD and wants to do a little bit of gaming. Now, you're not going to be able to do any sort of, well, a lot of gaming like you would be able to over on Linux, but if you want to quickly fire up a game or two, this launcher will seriously help you out in doing that. But with that said, let's go ahead and take a look at the launcher itself. And indeed, here we are on my free BSD desktop. Now, the first thing to show really is going to be how exactly do you get this program installed. Well, it's very easy because it's actually in the default free BSD repositories. So all you need to type in is, of course, sudo pkg install homura. And then if we go ahead and put in my password. And as you can see, it's in the default repositories, but I already have it installed. And the next thing to say is, by default, you won't get a shortcut in your uh, start menu. That's something you do need to add. So for your first launch, you need to launch it via the command line, and then it will give you an option to make a shortcut. You probably want to do that. And then let's just go ahead and close out of that. There we go. And this is the Homura Games Launcher. Now, as you can see, it's very sort of simple and bare bones, but it very much gets the job done. You got a list of things you can do, you know, installation, launcher, uninstallation, wine tricks, run an executable in the prefix, update, applying a fix, open the Homura folder, enable logging, other, about, and exit. Now, the first thing I want to show is about. It uh, tells you about the project, of course. 
and it will basically say you know where the Windows emulation comes from and most interestingly this is licensed, un or licensed under the BSD2 clause license which means pretty much if you want to take this project you can do near enough whatever you want with it as long as you respect the BSD license which is very permissive so that's quite uh, nice and um, now for the actual features of the program from the top you've got installation which I will just go ahead and quickly show you if you click OK on that you've got a list of uh, programs and software you can install with this program not all of it necessarily works but it is all here that you can try it out uh, you've got launchers like Steam, you've got games like RuneScape and stuff and I can't show you like actually installing one of these because it does take quite a long time but basically the short of it is you click OK it will go ahead and download all of the Windows dependencies to run the program and it will install the program itself and it works perfectly fine um, so for instance I have installed Steam and Discord and yeah Discord doesn't work, Steam does true to what they're saying there I assume all the other stuff would work as well and as you can see it gives you a little task completed once that's done the launcher is a similar story to the installation thing it will basically give you a list of programs and the caveat here is it will give you a list of programs but it won't tell you which ones are actually installed which is quite annoying but um, let me go ahead and quickly launch Steam to show you that it does work might take a second but here we are connecting to Steam account and as you can see it works very much just like Wine under Linux and once you launch Steam you have a little simple games list filled with all of the programs you have that you can download now not every game necessarily works which is why the compatibility list is quite important and I found that a lot of games that will work under Wine on Linux don't necessarily work under BSD which is why the compatibility list is quite important but let me just quickly show you a game that does work, and that game being Euro Truck Simulator 2. And as you can see, it launches just like it would under Windows. And actually what I've found is that the um, performance here is actually quite good. It's uh, very similar to uh, Linux and Wine. Which I guess you would kind of expect. And if we go into here, it'll just load everything up. And I'll show you that it does indeed work. As you can see, it's working absolutely perfectly. If we go to Drive, I'll just quickly show you in-game to show you that that works as well. Now, I've tried this game with both OpenGL and DirectX, and both work, but uh, OpenGL seems to perform better. Which is why we're using that. And as you can see, all works perfectly well. So if I now just quit the game, it will work. And there we go. That's gaming on FreeBSD. And we'll just go ahead and exit Steam. Which might take a moment, but... What should happen is, as you can see, the home or game launcher will pop right back up. Which is quite handy. And that's kind of like a bulk of what the program does. You know, you can install your uh, game, your game launcher, launch it, and it will work perfectly fine. And next down we have the uninstallation, which, similar thing, it will uninstall your programs. It's quite handy. You have wine tricks, so you can run wine tricks on your uh, prefixes, and you know you can install whatever dependencies you need for a program. You can run an executable in a prefix, so maybe if you want to install a mod or something. Uh, you can update stuff, which, yeah, it works for just updating these scripts and stuff. You can apply a fix, which there aren't really that many fixes, or there aren't, yeah, there, there aren't that many fixes yet. Uh, the only one is the uh, fix for this game, which I've never heard of, but theoretically in the future they will add more fixes. You can open the Hummer folder, so you can kind of do whatever you want with um, all of the sort of games and stuff. It's a little bit like the Lutris folders. You can enable logging, and under other we have use software rendering, delete and reset everything, create a shortcut, and open the GitHub page. And that's pretty much it. If we just go ahead and exit now, gives you a cute little thanks for using the Homera. Oh, thanks for using Homera, and have a great day. So yeah, that's the Homera game launcher for FreeBSD. Now, of course, FreeBSD is not a gaming platform by any of the stretch man stretch of the imagination or at least not yet, 
However, if you want to install FreeBSD, do a little bit of gaming that isn't just open source games in the default software repository, well, the Hummer Games Launcher is an absolutely fantastic piece of software and I would recommend it to anyone using FreeBSD. It's in the default repositories, it's easy to install, easy to get to grips with, works fantastically, and I'll definitely be keeping it on my FreeBSD system here. But with that said, I thank you for watching today's video. I hope you enjoyed it. Um, do you do any FreeBSD gaming? Let me know in the comment section below. And while you're down there, consider following my link to join LBRY. Uh, LBRY is a free and open source YouTube alternative and joining really helps the channel out. But with that said, that's it for today's video. I thank you for watching and I will see you in the next one.